Hey guys, it's Zach here from realestatelicensewizard.com. Today we're doing another real estate exam vocab term. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying these. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Now, without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so this week we are covering terms associated with appraisals. Today our term is appraiser. So let's take a quick look at the definition. So an appraiser is a professional who determines the market value of an asset, in our case, real estate. So real estate appraisals are performed by an appraiser that is not associated with the lender. That is super important to understand, so I'm going to say it twice. Real estate appraisals are performed by an appraiser that is not associated with the lender. Why? Because the appraiser must be unbiased when it comes to the property and should not be connected financially or otherwise to any party involved. Now, it's worth mentioning too, the lender or financing organization will hire the appraiser. Technically, the seller pays for the appraiser since it comes out of the final sales price. But again, the hiring aspect is almost always done by the lender. But again, just because they hire the appraiser does not mean it, it is directly affiliated with the mortgage company. Does that make sense? Hopefully. So in order to become an appraiser, you have to meet several requirements. We won't get much into that, but the Appraisal Qualifications Board is an organization that determines that and the minimum requirements to become a real estate appraiser. Now, what's super important to remember Remember, as I talked about earlier, is one, what it means. Remember that an appraiser is a professional who performs the market value or who determines the market value of an asset. Two, real estate appraisals are performed by an appraiser that is not associated with the lender and that the appraiser must be unbiased. And lastly, three, the lender or financing organization will hire the appraiser, again, to prevent any potential conflict of interest. And well, that's gonna be pretty much it for me today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Tune in tomorrow for the next one and make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more comments, questions, all the good stuff, leave them down below. This was Zach from realestatelicensewizard.com. As always, make today magical.